Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is continuation to the fabric playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about managed and external delta tables in fabric inside the lake houses. Okay. In our previous video, we have discussed about managed spark uh, spark tables or lake tables. Both are same, right? So we have discussed them in our previous video. So please watch my previous video before watching this video. That gives a better idea. Okay. So what we did it we create we had a data frame and with that data frame we created a managed table and then i also shown the table actually contains behind the scenes a data files parquet files right and these files were managed by the spark runtime basically so we are not going to manage them so that is the reason when we delete the table automatically the underlying files also will get delete so let me practically show you this very quickly so if i go to notebook this is my notebook and here let me execute this cell if you observe this cell, what is happening here, uh, we are taking this products.csv file and we are loading it into the data frame. So assume that your data frame has some data. Now that data, we are writing it in a delta format into a table called testing table. So that's what we are doing it now. So once the table get create, we, I will show you like it has a files also. And then we will delete this table. That way we will in turn delete that files as well. So because it's a managed table, the files behind the scenes of the table will be managed by uh, the spark runtime itself so when you delete the table the files also will get deleted okay so let's wait for the execution to complete great our execution completed successfully now if i go to the lake house and if i refresh these tables i should see that testing table as well see you can see the testing table came here right and if i want to see the files underneath it i should select these three dots and go to this view files option so let me go that when I go to the view files option, you can see the data is in files. This is actually a parquet file and you have the delta logs. It's like a logging. We discussed this in our previous video, right? So delta format will continuously log the information, whatever updating, deleting, creating. So all that information, it will keep log. Okay. So now let's try to delete this table, right? So to delete the table, right? What I will be doing, let me create one cell here and let me go to the spark SQL and uh, let me type drop table testing table so when i run this right the table will automatically get delete and automatically the files underneath the table will also get delete so table got dropped if i go to the lake house and if i refresh these tables once again here right by clicking this refresh option the table will not be available now right so since the table is not available i can navigate to that path also because it is an un underneath path which was managed by the spark runtime this is fine then what about the external tables so external tables mean assume the same case you have a data frame this time you are creating a table using a data frame and also you are specifying the path where these files the table underneath files to go and land there right so that way indirectly data will be in some external path that data will be get referred to by your table so it's an external table so that is the reason when you delete this table also the files will not get delete because the location was external it was not managed by it will be not managed by the spark runtime itself okay so i will practically show you that so if i go to my here and here if you see i have a data which is a list id and name column and that data using that data i am creating a data frame and the same data frame I will display. So it is displaying a data frame here. So now this data frame, I will try to write it as a table, the Delta table, but as an external table by specifying the path. So to do that, what I can do here is I can firstly, let's run this code, shift enter to run this code and see data frame one gets the data in it. See data frame one got a data in it. So now what I will be doing it here is here, the data frame one, which I got data. So I'm using a write command then i want to mention the format so i will mention a format as delta right then save as table and i will name table name maybe like a person right so if you see i named the table name as a person dot then okay uh, and not only that i can also mention the path right so if you see the syntax from the one node along with the table name i can mention a path so what i will be mentioning is under files under data folder maybe person data so this is what i want so if i run this cell 
it will basically create a table but the data will be in this external location and if you delete the data table the, the location data will be still there because it's an external table so external tables will store only the table definition with them when you delete it it's just the table definition is getting deleted from the meta store but not actually the files underneath it because the files were external so table the, the code executed successfully now if i go and if i refresh first thing is i should see that person's table so let's wait for the refresh to happen here you see the person table is available and when i click that it should see the data in a tabular format and to see the location right so this is where if you see here uh, i just created let me refresh this data folder so under files under data folder i mentioned this person data that's where the data if you see these are the data files for that person table okay so that's how it works but if i if i delete this table this folder and this data will not get deleted because it's a external location so to prove that what i will be doing it here is so let me draw uh, what is the table name person right so let me copy that table name and let me drop this table here so drop table person and then we will see whether the table got dropped or not also what about the files so if i go to lake house now and if i refresh tables see person table is not there it's a person one which is a previous table which i was trying it but person table was not there but if i refresh this data folder i should still see the person data folder there because it's a external location right so let me refresh this here and let's wait for the refresh to finish you see that person data is still available even after the refresh finish that means data was data didn't got deleted but actually the table definition got deleted so that is called external table okay so with this you got an idea about what is managed table and external table simple managed table will have the table definition and files will be managed by the spy spark itself i mean spark itself so when you delete the managed table the files also will get deleted when it comes to the external table table definition will be in a meta store but the files were not with the meta store or were not managed by the spark the files will be external location so when you delete a table the files will be still available for you okay so now this is all like a you have a data and you did it right but imagine a scenario where you have to directly create you don't have any data frame uh, you you just um, you are plain now you have to directly create the data frame or uh, sorry directly create the delta table is that possible then answer is yes so you can do it in a two ways one is using this uh, delta table builder api you can do that you see this is a syntax below so this is a syntax below and also you can do using the PySpark using a create table syntax so let's try the delta table builder api first so from delta.tables import star let's do that so if i go to my notebook right so if i add a new cell from delta.tables import star so i'm importing everything then after that if i go back to one node delta table dot create then pass the spark session then give the table name column names and everything finally execute command so let's do that delta table dot create so let me use the same syntax create and i have to pass the spark there okay and since it's a python code if i want to write a multi-line use the slash button then slash then i can take the table name so in the table name maybe i will mention person 2 okay maybe person 2 as a table name then next line i want to write dot add column so maybe i, I want to add a column like id column which is like a integer okay so then another dot add column function then maybe name column and uh, value in it is string okay and then finally i can use the execute command to execute it and when i run this code right when i run this code if you observe the code actually we are passing a spark session to it we gave a table name we gave the column names and everything now it will create a empty table uh, without any data frame itself right so we are we are not creating a table from any data frame so plain vanilla flavor a empty table so command got executed successfully now if i go here and if i refresh the tables i should see the uh, person 2 table you can see the person 2 table 
and it's a managed table of course right because uh, now when you click that it is an empty table there is no data but you can see the underneath files as well so if i go back here so let's assume i want to create a table using a uh, sql like a spark sql how to do that so for that if you see the syntax create table table name give the column names at the end you have to mention using delta because it, these are delta format tables delta lake tables right so it's like a basic sql uh, syntax only so let's write this create table maybe person 3 this time okay and then i wanted to have the id column as an integer and i want to have a uh, uh, name column as a string then finally what i wanted to do is at the end i have to mention using delta so when i do that it will create a table called person 3 with the two columns so i am running the cell here so once the cell got executed if i go to the lake house and if i refresh the tables i should see the person 3 table as well you see the person 3 table is coming there so now if i go back to one node to see if so so in the previous examples the both the tables what i created were managed tables right because we are not referring to any external location we just created a table an empty table so so these are like a managed tables only so when, whatever the data you load it will load into the files but that files will be managed by the spark runtime itself so when you delete a table the files will get deleted but let's assume i want to create this empty table but maybe as an external table so in that case you can use this syntax create table table name using delta don't mention any columns then you just mention the location right so this way it will work so in that location whatever the data is there if the location was empty a empty empty file table will get create if you load the data then data will get loaded into the table when you query that table right so that's how it behaves so if i go here and if i add a new new code cell and let's take a sql syntax so i will say create table uh, person 4 this time but using using delta and based upon a kind of a data i upload into the external location the kind of a schema it should come so i'm not mentioning any schema because it's external tables right the schema will be the, the kind of a data you place there so you no need to define the schema for the external tables so now using delta then i have to just use the location syntax and in the location syntax maybe let's assume files dot data slash person data four okay so now if i run this uh, it will create a empty table called person four at the same time it will have the location also ready for you and based upon a data you load in that location it will be queried via the table so command executed successful now if i go here and if i refresh the tables i should see person four but that will be a external table see person four came but if I want to make sure it's external table or not, so I can refresh this data folder and I should see person data four. And when I go, I have only transaction log. I don't have any parquet file. The reason is it's an empty table. When you load a parquet data there, automatically the data will reflect into the external table and you can query that also as if you are querying a normal SQL table. So that's it in this video. I hope you got an idea. What is the managed Spark table or a delta table versus external delta table and how to work with them using a notebooks and in lurkhouse in the Microsoft fabric. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.